Ivanette makes some truly amazing videos using CapCut and Kinemaster. I use the pro versions of both of these apps. But which one is better? That's what we're gonna be discussing in this video. Is CapCut better than Kinemaster? First, take a look at the ratings and the price. Here we have them both as they appear in the Play Store. And as you can see, they both have similar ratings. First, you notice that CapCut does have an advantage, slightly better ratings and far more downloads than KineMaster. But they both share the honor of being selected as an editor's choice app. This is an honor reserved for only the best, highest quality apps on their platform. And this is how much I'm paying for both of them monthly right now. Cap cut, which is being slightly higher at the time of recording this video. Now let's take a look at some key features of both the apps. This is what Cap Cut looks like when you open it up. I'm gonna select one of my previous projects just to show you what were some of the features I like. I add this swirl background effect to this video that gives it a psychedelic look. That's just one of the cool features that they have in the effects tab on CapCut. I'm gonna show you some of the other ones, like this echo effect I put on the drama right here. You can find these in the video effects on the bottom. And boy, let me tell you, you got some amazing choices here. And you're gonna see that most of the ones that's here, that's the really good ones, are the pro version. That's why I paid for the app to get access to the premium content, which let me tell you, it's gonna really, that can take your videos to the next level once you learn how to use it. But honestly, the real reason why I wanted to download CapCut was for this, the auto captions and the animated text. For so long, I neglected to do this on my video. Honestly, I think this is the best feature of CapCut. And look at all the customizations you have on the text. They also have a pretty decent selection of special effects, uh, stock footage, and even green screen effects that really will make your video stand out. And these are just a few of the features that CapCut has. I could mention more, but I'd be here much longer than I wanted to be. So let's go on to looking at KineMaster. So it's that same video I showed you from CapCut, this is, but it's inside KineMaster. The first feature I like about KineMaster is that you're able to edit horizontal. Now this may not be a big deal to you, but to me it just feels right to be able to do this thing with full screen horizontal with both hands. Maybe because I'm so used to using it this way, I don't know. And again, maybe like I said, this may not be a huge deal for you. If you click on layers, and then you click on the effects tab. This is where you can find all the cool special effects to add to your videos. These are the ones that I have saved. There's more you can find at the store. Like this right here, this wiggle. I could add this cool special effect to an already cool looking video to begin with. Even though they have some great special effects here, I don't think they quite touch the selection that CapCut has. So we know that I did this video on CapCut, so we know the captions came from there. However, KineMaster just recently, I mean like just recently, added auto captions to the app. That's something that I really was looking for for a long time. So here's KineMaster on the Google Play Store and there it is advertised like it's some new cutting edge, brand new feature they just started up with. No. It's been around for a while. Other apps have this. They just late to the game. Uh, but at least late is better than never arriving at all. Honestly, that's probably my one gripe against KineMaster. The rest is pretty positive. But one huge advantage KineMaster has over CapCut is this. You have direct in-app access to two of the best royalty-free stock footage websites available. Pexels.com and Pixabay.com. I have used both of these websites extensively over the past year for stock footage for my videos and even for music. And the fact that I don't have to go off the app to go to these websites directly to find the images I need is a game changer for me. 
I just type in whatever I'm looking for and it populates a list of me of videos and images I can use to put them out directly in my videos. And this is in addition to the stock footage that they have on the app itself that they produce. Just this feature alone makes that $10 a month worth it for me. And the cool part about it, the pictures and videos you download stays on the app, not in your gallery, taking up a space. Experiment with both of these websites, even though you type in the same thing, you're gonna get a totally different results, and you can, which gives you a better selection of what to choose from. This video I did here was edited entirely from stock footage I used from both websites. My friend did the voiceover, and I put the uh, animated text and cap closed caption on CapCut. Because when I made this video, Kinemaster did not have auto caption. Another feature I like about Kappa is the short music. So when you're doing shorts, you don't want to use a whole song. They have a selection of shorts, or uh, really short uh, clips of music, right from the library, which you can tr you can download. And honestly, their music library is not that bad. I've been able to find several songs on here that I've used in my videos in the past that I really like. And that's not always easy because finding the right song sometimes can be very hard to do. I have found myself listening to hundreds and hundreds of tracks trying to find the right one. I'm going to just be honest with you. I'm going to continue to pay for both of the apps just me personally but i recommend if you if you're just new to editing and you want to get started i would recommend going with CapCut. CapCut seems to have the most assets right now and even though kinemaster is is catching up to them i think this would be the better choice thank you again for watching we'll see you again next time